Hello YouTubers, this is Louise from Onsite Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So this is going to be part two to our Motor Club video that we did last week. It's going to be many more. It's a hot topic. I can just keep going on and on about these motor clubs. So anyways, so motor clubs are the Walmart of the towing industry. They get their customers by offering them a cheap service. And then they contract providers like us, and then they pay us peanuts. Same way Walmart operates. Cheap product, cheap labor. But on this video, we're going to cover a little bit about Urgently. And Urgently came out into the market two or three years ago. And Urgently caught my eye when they first came out with their pilot program. And they promised to pay providers their retail rates with a credit card over the phone no PLs none of that nonsense I said wow sign me on and for about the first year and a half things were going great whatever price I gave them they ended up paying and it was prompt payment you know they paid me for the service I'll taxes and I'll three percent on the credit card transaction fee then slowly it started to get harder and harder to be able to sell them a service Eventually, it got to the point where they started to get a little deceptive and were saying that we're an in-network provider and we have contracted rates. Mind you, I never signed a contract with Urgent. So I tell the dispatcher, oh really, you got a contracted rate, email it to me. I'd like to see my signature on that. And of course, they can never deliver because they're, they're bluffing. Contract doesn't exist. So... Urgently is based off of the ride sharing apps such as Uber and Lyft. And I wouldn't be surprised if Urgently is owned by Uber. I grew up in New York City and I follow up a lot on the news down there. And Uber has completely destroyed the taxi business in New York City. The yellow taxi business. So before Uber came out with the apps... The taxi business was thriving. And for you to operate a yellow cab, you had to buy a medallion. And up until four years ago, these medallions were going for big money. Up to a million dollars for a taxi medallion. And a lot of these drivers that purchased these medallions were banking on the fact that it was going to be an investment. And slowly, it would continue to rise and rise and rise in price. And when it came to retirement, they can either lease that medallion out or sell it. So, fast forward, Uber comes into the market and makes it easy where anybody can drive a taxi in New York City or a car service, whatever you want to call it. So, the prices of these medallions drop significantly. I read an article the other day, they're at about $160,000 a piece now, compared to the $1 million four years ago. And the sad part about it is, that these poor drivers invested into this. They bought these loans out. They purchased these loans. They purchased these medallions with loans. And they're to the point where they can't even pay their, their loans. They're defaulting on these loans. And unfortunately, this year alone, there's been about eight suicides because these poor drivers have lost all hope. They're, they're sinking. Their business is going under. Um, they can't provide for their families, so unfortunately they started checking themselves out. And I'm sure that number is going to go, go up dramatically as the years go by. And, and, it's, and it's a shame. So, anyway, so Urgently first came out and they promised to pay providers their retail rates. I signed up, like anybody would. And as of lately, it's been getting harder and harder. And what drives me nuts is that they have the Mercedes contract. A couple days ago, I got a call to tow a G-Wagon from Middletown, New York to a dealer 65 miles away. And if you're not familiar with a G-Wagon, a G-Wagon is a top-of-the-line Mercedes. It's about $130,000 for the base model. So I didn't even bother giving them a price. I said, well, what do you guys want to pay? She tells me, hundred and thirty dollars I respond back with lady you lost your bird 
no way I'm touching that vehicle for $130. You know, your $130,000 vehicle, $130, no, this doesn't add up. I'm sorry, but I won't even move a Honda Civic for that price, you know, find somebody else. So whatever, I didn't lose any sleep over it. So later that day, I'm on my way home, and I see that G-Wagon on the back of a rented U-Haul trailer being pulled by a 2001-2002 Chevy Silverado 1500 with passenger plates on it. And this guy driving this truck was, how can I say it? He was uh, a little rough around the edges. I said to myself, I don't think that's the owner of that G-Wagon. So this is how motor clubs are destroying the industry. They don't want to pay the professionals what they want to pay. Instead, they got backyard Bobby here with his freaking rented trailer. Who knows? It might not even be rented. It might be stolen for all we know. With no commercial insurance, towing this $130,000 SUV. And I have a feeling that since that was an unintended tow, the owner did not get to see this fantastic specimen that came to tow his vehicle. And quite frankly, it's getting to a point where us tow companies need to start standing together and uniting and not at each other's throats and standing up against these motor clubs, man, because this is this is getting out of hand. You know, it's you can't make a living off of motor club work. And it's a shame because they're luring these new entrepreneurs, these new startup businesses with all these hopes and promises and it ends up not being rainbows and unicorns at the end of the day. So that's my review on Urgently. Personally, stay away. Don't even bother at this point. And, you know, I hope this video helps somebody some somehow. And that's it. Once again, this is Luis from On-Site Towing. Thank you very much for watching this, uh, this video. Take it easy. Be safe out there, guys.